How are you going to solve their problems? How are you going to solve their problems? And here we tell them, get the most flexible, convenient class options. So a brief statement. So here's an example. You go through, here's what you get. And here are the courses we get. What's going on guys and welcome to the last day of 2018 and just a quick little update of where I've been because I did not upload last week. Uh, basically after the course like launching Lifestyle Design Mastery, um, I went to England, to the UK, to Liverpool to spend time with my family, celebrate Christmas Day and basically just relax and recharge again because I was honestly on the verge of a burnout. out after the course, after putting so much effort and time into it, uh, maintaining my own social media, trying to go to the gym four or five times a week, uh, keeping up to date with Brampreneur, we've actually managed to uh, set more systems in place to automate uh, more parts of the business and we landed a really, really big client, which did uh, require a lot of my attention while you know trying to release the course. So uh, I put a lot of effort and time and work and anything like that in the last few weeks um, you know of December you know leading up to Christmas and by the time it was actually Christmas I was actually burnt out we got the boat to uh, England so from uh, Rotterdam in the Netherlands to Hull in the UK we got the boat and on the boat there's no signal so that was the first time in probably over two years that I had no internet or you know no connection with the outside world or you know anything like that and it felt great that I got the best sleep I had in a very, very long time. I got like nine hours. I went to bed at like nine o'clock, didn't get up till uh, seven in the morning. So that's actually even more than nine hours. And, you know, I just had just this time to recharge again. And I've noticed that that's something that I really needed. Like I was absolutely burnt out. I, I couldn't, couldn't even think properly. My creative tank was just on empty. Couldn't, uh, I really had to push myself those last few days uh, you know of the course launch to to push through and I I felt like the finish line was here and I was here and I I went full throttle and then just before the finish line I just slowed down lost my legs and you know had to really really push myself uh, through like over the finish line but anyway uh, tomorrow is a new year, you know, 2019. I'm ready for it. I'm recharged. I'm ready to go. I've already set myself a few little goals. I've announced the first one on social media saying that I want to help 1,000 people live life on their own terms. Now, whether that is uh, quitting the job, whether that is earning money online, whether that is giving them the, the financial capabilities to travel more, to spend more time with family, anything like that, I want to be the person that helps them do that. So 1,000 people uh, in terms of my financial goals, um, I want to earn 250,000 euros in 2019 and I also want to buy my first property. So not necessarily to move out, uh, but I am looking into something that's called buy to let where you purchase property and then you rent it out to other people. So uh, that is something that I'm really looking into in 2019. Other than that, uh, I'm not really going to look over 2018 too much. I've done that myself, you know, in the times of reflection. So I won't probably, I probably won't discuss that too much in this video. You know, we're onwards and upwards, moving forward. Uh, I'd like to know in the comments down below what your goals are for 2019. Anything I can do to help you with it, let me know. And obviously for those that don't know, I have now got my own course on how to earn money online, which is called Lifestyle Design Mastery. Um, I have set one of the videos as a free preview. So if you click on the first link in the description box down below, um, you can go onto the, the landing page of the course. You can see all the modules and one of those modules is actually free. So uh, feel free to watch that if you've got the time and get a bit more of a feel of what Lifestyle Design Mastery is about. It is literally, guys, everything you need to know on how to earn money online. Everything from mindset to the financial vehicles, you know, the business models, which ones to choose, which one fits your lifestyle best to execution, to getting results, to scaling the business, to automating the business, to building the team. Everything you need is in this course and I'm only gonna add and add, add to it. I really want this to be like an entire university of online knowledge so that you do not need to look in other places to get this knowledge. It's all in one place or for a one-time payment and you get the lifetime uh, you know, amount of knowledge. Anyway, um, in terms of what I'm doing today, as you can see, I've started reading again, something that I haven't been doing in a very, very long time. Um, you know, the last few months of 2018 has been pure execution, and in 2019, I do want to spend more time um, you know, taking it back a bit rather than going full force. I want to take more time to reflect. 
and more time to read, you know, gain more knowledge, learn. Uh, basically, you know, if you're executing, you're not learning as much. And I want to reverse that now. 2019, I want to ground myself again, you know, learn more things, uh, you know, perfect more things. And then maybe towards the end of 2019, uh, start executing more and moving forward and stuff like that. So that's the little update for now. Um, I'm going to get some work done, then I'm going to go to the gym. I'll probably take you guys along with me, see how far we get. <laughs> So guys, just got a couple of hours of work done. It's quarter to two now. Uh, work is done for now. I'm gonna go to the gym, get a workout in, then come back, look at my goals 2019, and then break them down into like monthly or weekly increments, just so I can see, um, you know, where I am, where I'm at. Uh, reverse engineer what I want to achieve I and mean, break it down into like weekly, monthly goals. And I, in my opinion, that is a better way to achieve your goals. It makes it much more easier to get to the end goal, end destination, end, end product. The third one is called the RICE Project Scoring Tool. This is a tool that you can plot initiatives and projects in, and then you can score them according to a basket of different metrics, and then using a simple algorithm, we prioritize the ones that have the most impact towards achieving your vision, mission, and principles. And then those are the ones that we plot in the warm calendar. So all four of these tools all interconnect, and they all feed each other. And then the fourth tool is the health tracking sheet. And this is how you track your inputs and outputs on a daily basis, so that you can optimize everything from food, sleep, to uh, supplements, to exercise, to productivity and focus and energy. You can optimize everything towards achieving your vision, mission and principles. Quick question, does anyone else uh, watch YouTube videos at the speed either 2 or 1.75 or 1.5? Just to get more knowledge in, in like a quick amount of time. It's funny because I've been listening to this video at 2x the speed. And like I'm used to it now, but when I go back to normal. So... You know, to do this, it probably take... That to me is really, really slow. So anyway, back from the gym now, and I've been just looking at my goals for 2019, and I've just watched a video called Tools to Plan the New Year by Sam Ovens, and i got quite a few little good insights out of it. Funny thing is, like, he does a lot of things the same as I do, but in, like, he obviously, you know, he creates his own, um, like, documents and PDFs and all that, but I'm basically doing the same thing without intentionally doing the same thing as he done. I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm sort of trying to document a lot of things in my life, you know, to make, make sense for all. Uh, for example, he has got the warmer dashboard, which is something I really like. I'll probably use the same. Um, I've been using my Google Calendar a lot for this. Uh, basically, the warm uh, you've got the dashboard here. Then you've uh, basically you color code all the things that you do in life. So, for example, holidays, um, building your website, working on the business, um, maybe family and friends, um, rest, read, whatever. And then you map each day out in your dashboard and then you go to each individual month and then based on the goals you've set for yourself uh, in the warm-up dashboard, you can then cross off uh, each day individually, add tasks to it and then, uh, for example, Tuesday we'll be working on the webinar uh, for Lifestyle Design Mastery. And if we've done it, you cross it off. Um, if you haven't done it, it moves to the next day. And you can also change colors of the day so you know which day you're at. And then turn the days that you've done into gray so you can so you know, okay, that is done. This is where I'm at. And it's just a really good way of keeping, um, like keeping control and like a bird's eye view on everything that is going on. So this is something that I'm definitely going to use going forward in 2019. Reach my goals of a course at a million uh, euros in 2019 and help 1,000 people live life on their own terms. I'm definitely going to use this going forward. So how I've been doing it in 2018 is basically I write myself a to-do list. I've got my yearly um, my bids, I view goals in the calendar app and then the daily to-do list things um, I write in my little uh, moleskin notebook. So for next year, I'll probably be doing something similar. Um, I'll be using the warm up calendar and I'll be using the dates in the months as well. And then for the daily tasks, I will also write them in my two seconds in my new to do this notebook why because i feel like i get more done and it feels more real if i write it on actual physical paper so for example if i'm in my notes app and i don't do a task then it's easy for me to delete the task as if it it was never on the through list itself but um let's see if i can find an example if i don't do a task 
in my to-do list, I have to cross it off. So for example, on the 18th, I actually crossed off upper body workout, which means I did not get a workout in that day. And I can see that now. And it just, for me, that like that is, for me, that is really annoying. Like I don't like seeing the crosses. So, you know, it's a way for me to keep myself accountable because if I don't get it done, then I have to cross it off and I don't like it. So now I've basically done everything I need to get done and I've got the rest of the evening to do whatever I want, which is going to be this new Facebook ads course. Um, I've just got a Facebook ads academy from a Maxwell firm. Um, heard a lot of good things about it. So I thought, you know what, um, a good way to invest into more knowledge, get more knowledge into um, Facebook ads and become like an absolute expert at it. So that's what we're going to be doing for the rest of the evening. And this is probably where I'm going to wrap up this video as well. So like the video, we've got some out of it. Comment down below what your goals of 2019. Like I said, guys, make sure you check out the preview video of my course. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next one. Gotta do what I gotta do.